Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Guys, today we have a little bit of something different. Melted gave me a suggestion in the YouTube comments and on Twitter that I should show you guys how I create my own videos. So I'm not exactly sure how well this is going to go, but I'm going to give it my best try. Uh, for this example, we're going to be using Streamlabs OBS, which is very similar to what I use. I use OBS Studio, which is literally this program, but my program doesn't have the Streamlabs stuff built into it. I just couldn't use my specific program because then I can't record it like what i already have i wanted to start fresh so whether you use streamlabs obs or obs studio it doesn't matter this is for creating like we're creating youtube videos specifically this is not the streaming setup to stream it is very similar to these things but we're going to start with uh video recording specifically so the very first thing you want to do when you're starting out here with the blank canvas here you want to go to your settings and you want to go to videos and then you have your 1920 by 1080, which is going to give you your 1080 video, which is what you want. But we're going to change this up a little bit. We're going to do 3840 by 1080. And then you hit enter. And then you go to your scaled and you also do 3840 by 1080. And then I keep it on 60 FPS. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because this creates two full size 1080p screens that are being recorded at the same time. What this allows you to do is you can have your webcam being recorded full screen 1080p while simultaneously recording your gameplay full screen 1080p, which allows you to record your webcam and your game in the same file at the same time. You don't have to sync it later when you're editing. And also when you're editing, you have full control over your webcam and your game because they're both recorded at full screen. So let me show you guys exactly what that's going to look like. So I can't use my webcam because I'm already using the webcam to record for you guys. Can't do it both. So I'm just going to use my uh, Elgato as an example. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to name this webcam for your guys' sake. That way it's as least confusing as possible. And we're going to use my Elgato. So my Elgato here is still a 1920 by 1080 recording. Look, it only takes up half the screen. Now we're going to go over here. And so let's pretend once again, this Elgato is my webcam. Okay. For future or just for the rest of this video, the Elgato is the webcam now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do game capture and we're gonna do minecraft just for this example and then what we're gonna do is it's gonna you want to do capture a specific window and then i want us to capture minecraft is as you can see here on the bottom i already have that open and now i have to open up minecraft real quick for it to actually register on Streamlabs. and there we go now so this this image is still because i don't have obs or i don't have minecraft actually open if i opened up minecraft like all the way this would be moving so just for this example but i wanted to show you guys that we now have a webcam full screen recording on the left and your game that you're recording full screen on the right which is what i do in every single video the second most important thing to do actually you know what? This, what I just showed you, might be the second. The first, maybe, yeah. What I'm about to show you is the most important. This is the second most important. The most important thing that you need to do is you need to go to your audio and you need to set up, you want your game, uh, your game sound and your team, like your teammates' team chat to be on separate audio devices. So you want your desktop audio one device to just be your default. So for me, it's the Astro A50 game. And then you want desktop audio device two instead of that being disabled, you want that to be your team chat. So for me, my headset, it is the, let me find it right here. Headset Astro A50 voice. Now for you, these are, unless you have the A50s are going to be different for you. But the, what you're doing here is you're making it. So if I click done, if you go here now, you can see that we have the headphones. My game volume is on one bar, one meter being controlled volume level. And then my team chat, which is this guy, is being on its own volume level. So if I'm playing a game and in my headset, everything sounds perfect to me. I like it just the way it is. But my recording hears my teammates too loud or too low. I can change their volume without messing with the team volume or without messing with the game volume. This is super important. The next thing you are going to want to do. So that's that's the first two steps. All these steps are very important. You're going to want to follow all these steps very specifically if you want 1080p. Now... If you want 720p, uh, that 3840 by 1080, you're going to have to do the math a little different. You're going to have to do, uh, I don't even know, instead of doubling 1920 by 1080, you're going to have to double the, I think it's like 1240 by 720. I'm not 100% sure what those numbers are. You can look them up real quick. Just double that on your own. Uh, it's pretty, pretty straightforward as, as long as you have this concept down. So next thing we want to do that is very important. Once again, this is this part right here. So... This is for recording videos only. This is not going to do well for your stream. It's going to sound goofy on your stream. 
but this is for recording videos. What you want to do is you want to go to your advanced audio settings right here and you want to untick every box. Let's start off fresh and untick every box. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to have your microphone, your voice, you're going to check box one, your team voice. So for instance, for me, it's the A50 voice. You're going to check that on voice two. And then for your game sound, you're going to want that checked on voice three. What we're doing here is we're making it so when we record, each one of these sounds are on their own audio track, which if that doesn't make sense to you, it's going to make way more sense when we start the editing process. But this is majorly important for editing. You're going to thank me later. If you don't do this, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do any of these steps. OBS makes it really easy for you to record your own videos, but I'm showing you, I've been doing this for five years and these are all the steps that I've learned throughout this time. So now that we have this down, we can go ahead and exit. And then, so on your own time, you're going to have to do a, a bunch of test recordings, get all these bars to whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Get everything exactly where you want it. You're going to get your volumes, but what you want to do is like, so let's, we're going to do mic for example. So this webcam isn't actually the webcam. It's my, that's the PlayStation sound, by the way. Your microphone, when you're talking right here, let's take a look at this webcam. Let's imagine this is our microphone audio. If you're in the green right here, that means that OBS can hear you, but they can hear you quietly. If you're in the yellow, that means OBS can start hearing you loud. Red means that OBS can hear you really loud. And if you go past red, then you're actually, uh, it's called peaking, which is destroying your audio. You never want this to go all the way past red. As a matter of fact, whenever I record my mic, my microphone, I have it right here, just barely into the red. And that's only when I'm yelling. When I'm yelling, it goes barely into the red. But when I'm talking, I'm just having a ca casual conversation like we are right now. I'm at about halfway through the yellow because I want you guys to be able to hear me loudly because my goal when you're watching my YouTube videos is I want you to hear me clearly. And if you're on max volume, what I hate the most is when I'm watching a YouTube video, I have it on max volume and I can still barely hear it. It's so annoying. So I want to make it so you have to either leave your volume right where it's at or you can turn me down if I'm too loud because it's easy to turn down, but you can only turn all the way up so much before. Like if you have it all the way up and you still can't hear the, your own YouTube video, it's just kind of garbage. So that helps this problem right here. So this is everything that we need to actually get this going. From this point, you're just going to hit record your video. You're going to oh, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i almost skipped a very important step you're going to want to go to your output you're going to want to go to recording you're going to want to put your output into advanced mode you do not want simple mode simple mode is for plebs you do not want simple mode i almost forgot this this is extremely important so you have your recording path wherever you want your videos to go when you record them Remember when I told you on your advanced audio properties, you want your microphone on one, you want your team chat on two and your game chat on three. Remember that right here, we want one, two and three all checked. This is all very important. Your recording hardware, this all depends on your computer, whichever one of these, these are all really good, but they're all specific to your computer. So you better figure out which one works best for you. For me, the hardware in Vank new works for me. Next is your bit rate. The higher you can get this number, the better. This is also just comes with testing. Uh, bit rate, the higher you can get it means the higher the quality of your video is going to be. Now, you're just going to have to do a few test recordings. Uh, so, you know, you, it can be too high. If you have it too low, you might be missing out on some free high quality stuff you could do. And then we have your quality. And then once you go, once you have these set up. So once you have all these set up, another thing, uh, this is going to be defaulted to fly or dot mkv you do not want those you want it to be on recording format mp4 and so we're going to do audio tracks one two and three and then we're going to do that and we're going to click done and now you are fully ready to go you can now hit record and record your video so i'm going to record a video right now of some call of duty and then i'm going to meet you guys back here right now to show you guys how i edit that video all right we are hopping over i personally use a uh, vegas pro 17 for recording my video or for editing my videos now, this is not what your default Vegas is going to set up or sound like or be set up like. I just did not want to like restart all of this. And also, this is the this is the video you guys just watched the other day. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mute my desktop audio because actually, no, no, I'm not. You guys need to be able to hear everything that I'm recording. So this is what my setup looks like. I hit save right here all the time. Uh, people use a bunch of different recording like to like uh, uh tools programs softwares whatever you want to use i just want to show you guys it doesn't matter what program you use because every program should be able to do this 
just want to show you so when you put your video in like i said this is what you guys just watched the other day when you put your video in this is what it's going to look like you have your video track here then you have your track one track two track three and track four so i have four tracks you're only going to have three tracks the reason why i have four tracks is because i stream using the same program so when you have like your mic on one uh team on two and game on three i have my track one is all three of them and then track two is mic track three is team and track four is game so that's the only reason why i have four it's because i stream and record from the same program which is why right here i have this muted uh chat one right here i'm gonna look i'm gonna solo it i have to listen it's, to this again it's they everything you oh you can't really hear it. this was a bad example because there's not any shooting but i always have this one muted because i never actually want to use a uh, one i like when you're editing this is only for streams when you're editing this is my voice volume this is the team volume which is not important for this video at all i could just delete this and then this is the game volume so if i were to solo this out once again this is a bad video i just thought about that because there's not a lot of sound let's yeah you can i mean you can barely hear it but this is the this is the sound of the game so what we're gonna do what's really important is we are gonna take our video right here and we want to copy the video so now there are two video tracks that are the exact same video track what we're going to do is then once we have all once we have this copied we're going to we're going to link all these back together so i'm going to just select them all one by one i'm going to right click and i'm going to go to group create new group so now these guys are all one group so if i move them they stay the same what that does is it makes it so our my webcam and the game are synced together now here's where presets come in handy we're going to crop and we're going to go to mask now you're going to eventually get your own presets but we're going to do left side mask and what that does is as you can see here it makes it so my webcam if i were to go here if i were to uh, mute this you can see that my webcam is the only thing being shown i'm going to unmute that so we're going to have we have our webcam here being cropped i'm going to go to position and i have cod web cod webcam here and then once again it's your own preset you can move this around however you want but look the whole full webcam is freely movable which is exactly what we want so i'm going to go to cod webcam and right there you have it perfectly right where you want it now we're going to go to this second track which is going to be the game we're going to go back down here to mask and once again in your program it might be different but it's the same process right side mask so now the game is uh chopped off by itself and we're gonna do right side full screen which is the preset that i have saved and then there we go look what we have here and that one recording i recorded one time for approximately 23 minutes we have recorded the webcam and the game fully independent of each other so i can freely move the webcam anywhere i want i can take the webcam completely out i can do whatever i want i can even zoom in on the game without even messing with my webcam at all there's so much freedom that you can do and that is the main part that is basically like all there is to this because i mean you guys like right there i did webcam full screen for my thumbnails so that is basically it for the editing because what once you get into this where you like want to do all your chops what i always do is i just go through like where my voice starts and i chop i get rid of this first part i go to where my voice ends i chop i get rid of that part i just chop all the the blank spaces out and i put it all together now so that that's basically good for the editing the editing at that point is up to you how you want to edit your video the next most important part is the thumbnail so in my thumbnail you're gonna see right here i'm gonna make a lot of goofy faces because i'm gonna do webcam full screen i always do goofy faces at the end of the video that i chop out of the video because i'm trying to find where i want my thumbnail to be so right here here we go here's a face this is a perfect face that we're gonna use for our thumbnail so i have the face that's the face i want to use i'm gonna save it and i always name it video face that's the screenshot of video face now we're gonna go to our game and we're gonna find where i inspect the deagle that you guys watched let me just find it you just got to scroll a little bit it takes a little bit of time where did i do that at where did i inspect this deagle at i know i inspected it here we go perfect we inspect the deagle now we name this game our video video bg for video background so now we have that done you edit all your video and now i'm gonna skip over i'm not gonna edit this video right here because the editing process takes some time i'm gonna skip on over to actually making the thumbnail now all right we are now into adobe illustrator i know most people use uh photoshop i just know how to use illustrator more they're practically the same thing these are just a few things that i have just saved in my 
and my little thing the arrows the live because whenever i do a live stream i like to put live in there and then these are the presets i already have saved so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead open up and get our files in here now that we have our files in here as you can see there are their own little things we're going to take the background and we always just copy and we want to go ahead and come over here to game and we want to paste that guy right into there that's our background and then i lock game because i don't want to accidentally move it later this is perfect. Now, my I want you guys to know my thumbnails are extremely basic. I don't know how to do all the fancy schmancy stuff. This is extremely basic stuff here, okay? If you want to actually learn how to make a real good thumbnail, you're going to have to go to somewhere else. What I then like to do is go through here, and I like to edit out my, my body. Now, this is another process that is just an absolute pain to do. It's just, I mean, it's not hard to do. It's just that it's tedious is all. So, we just go through... We're going to get on my face. Oh, you know what I hate? I absolutely hate when I show the background through my glasses because now I have to erase that out. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to go ahead. It's really hard for me because I have black glasses and sometimes I wear the black hat that I'm wearing right now. In this video, I was wearing the white hat. So when I have the black hat on, it's a pain because now you have a black hat along a, a black background. Now look at this. As you guys can see, I'm just kind of breezing through this i don't it doesn't have to be perfect you know because this thumbnail is gonna be really tiny more than likely on a phone screen i think most people do youtube on their phones uh even if you're on desktop though it's still gonna be really tiny and i'm gonna show you guys a little trick I'll show you a little trick after we're done here to to uh make it so the crop like my cropping here doesn't even look that bad so we're just gonna we're just kind of outlining this just wasting time. Let me skip to the end of outlining this. All right, here we go. So we have this guy fully outlined, and then we're going to connect the dot. Now what we have to do, this is something I didn't know, but you can actually go to your eraser tool here, and then we're going to, we want to slow or make that tiny. And we want to erase the background here that's through my glasses. I hate when I do that. I didn't notice it when I was posing for the picture. Uh, because this is a pain. I don't normally have to do this part. Normally, I just have my glasses, like my face is in there. So there we go. So we have this. Now we have this fully cropped out. We can, we're going to do select all. We're going to go over here to object, clipping mask, and then make. And then bada bing, bada boom. That gets rid of the whole background. Now I'm going to show you guys the trick on how to make this, see this crop. I mean, I didn't do a perfect job. What you do is you click it. You go to effects stylize and then feather and then i always do uh 10 pixels but you can preview and see whatever you like and if you do oh see because of the glasses 10 isn't that great let's do five because the glasses are getting chopped off a little bit too much and right there uh no it needs to be 10 i think because of this little guy but then the glasses get chopped off too much because i had to do this stupid erase we're gonna leave it here at five but it just looks a little bit better and also like since i'm wearing a hat you can't really tell whenever you're not wearing a hat it's really good to do the feather now what we're going to do is we're going to add the drop shadow effect. Now, here's a little trick. See how I do the preview? See how the drop shadow goes to the right? But you can see how my the my light is right here on my cheek. I I like how the I like to move the drop shadow. So if you do negative and negative, you move the drop shadow to the other side because it just makes more sense. I mean, the light's hitting you on this side, the drop shadow should go on that side, right? So now we have our drop shadow, our face. We're going to copy this and we're going to go over to our thumbnail. And we can go to face, select that layer, and just slap my beautiful face right here. And there we go. My face is there. Now, sometimes this might just be good enough if you want it to be. Sometimes, though, I like to add a little bit of text, and that's what we're going to do for this video. We're going to go to our text tool, and we're going to do my favorite text, which is bada boom. We're going to do 180 size font because the bigger the better. And then we are going to create a little bubble. Create a bubble right here. Make it big. And what are we gonna name? What are we gonna make the name of this thumbnail? I, I, the video is gonna be called like "Summer Games Trial Runs!" Exclamation mark. So we have our title now. I like to do. This is where you can get as creative as you want. This is just how I like to do things. I like to move it to the right. I like to go over to properties here, and we're gonna make these uh, text right here just a little bit closer to each other. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this text. And we want to right click it and do create outline because if you click it and you try to click this gradient tool it doesn't work you can't click the gradient tool on text you have to do create outline so we're going to click it create outline now we are going to do click it and you want to do oh didn't come on click it and they're going to do the gradient tool and look now 
we can do the cool effects. But I want the top uh, row to be different than the bottom row. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to ungroup, make all these separate from each other. And I'm going to take this top group and I want this to regroup, but I don't think it's going to allow me to just regroup. If I click G, will that regroup them? Not 100% sure. I don't think so. No, G did gradient. Regardless, they're, they're by themselves. So we're going to take this top row and we're going to change the color to what color do we want to use? We want to take this gradient tool. This is just where I, mean, I think the main part you guys came here for was the actual recording the video, not necessarily this part. I'm just giving you guys this as an extra bonus. Here's where I just mess with the colors, see what kind of colors I want. That'll do. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to do the same exact thing, but with just a different color. We can do like a red or an orange here. So we'll do. Why didn't that work? There we go. I want that one like that. There we go. OK, here we go. We're going to do like a we'll do like a red on that side. This side can be like a purple, pink, pinkish. That looks kind of nice, right? There we go. And then we're going to take all of our text here and then i like to just make it big because like i said we're looking at this on a tiny phone screen you need it to be very very visible so we want it to be very very big and then what you could even do is take your face and just make that a little bit smaller if you want people to see your beautiful face and there we go all this stuff that's right here on the edge no one's gonna see it it's only what is in this box and that's it oh my i just realized my face is kind of blurry there isn't it maybe i'm crazy I don't know. I don't think it is, but that is it. That is it. Now we're just going to go and we're going to save it. We're going to export it from here. We're just going to take it and upload it. And that's it. That is my process of creating a video. Once you're on YouTube, you just create your video. You add your custom thumbnail, you title it, whatever you want. You upload it and you just watch the views come in. Hopefully people are nice enough to leave comments and like the video and subscribe. Like I hope you're doing right now. Thank you guys for today's video. I, I hope it wasn't that long uh, as I'm looking at this. It took me about 26 minutes to record this. I'm going to be able to chop that down quite a bit. I really didn't want this to be over a 20 minute long video, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I should just stop talking to stop that. But thank you, Melted, for the idea. Hopefully this is clear. If you guys have any questions for me, uh, just hop into my Discord, uh, which is in the description down below. Hop into the Discord, and then we can chat about some ideas. Any questions you might have, I can let you know uh, if I know how to do it. And thank you guys for watching today's video. I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.